हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन सेज थ्री लेजर गन्स लेबल्ड एज वन टू एंड थ्री हैव पावर टू वॉट थ्री वॉट एंड फाइव वॉट नॉट नेसेसरिली इन द सेम ऑर्डर आर यूज टू प्रोड्यूस फोटो करेंट फ्रॉम मेटल प्लेट नंबर ऑफ फोटोन्स एमिटेड बाई लेजर गन्स आर फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन रेज टू द पार एटीन फाइव इंटू टेन रेज टू द पार एटीन एंड नाइन इंटू टेन रेज टू द पार एटीन पर सेकेंड मेटल प्लेट हैव The threshold energy 4.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. Neither the power nor the number of photons emitted by a particular laser gun is known, and it is known that all capable photons emit a photo electron, right? So the minimum possible wavelength of emitted photo electron is. We have four options over here. So, so we have to solve this question, and the key concept. over here is photoelectric effect all right so photoelectric effect ke help se hame isko solve karna hai now it asks us about minimum possible wavelength of emitted photoelectron so we know that the uh, equation for photoelectric effect is given as this H nu minus H nu naught is equal to kinetic energy. All right. So K e is equal to H nu minus H nu naught. So H nu kya hai? This is the energy of photoelectrons. Energy of photoelectrons. And H nu naught is the work function. Work. फंक्शन और द थ्रेश होल्ड एनर्जी ऑल राइट सो एच न्यू को एच न्यू नॉट से ज्यादा होना पड़ेगा एंड मोर ओवर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम पॉसिबल वेव लेंथ ऑफ एमिटेड फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड वी नो दैट वेव लेंथ इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एनर्जी सो मिनिमम पॉसिबल वेव लेंथ मीन्स मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एनर्जी सो मिनिमम वेव लेंथ मीन्स मैक्सिम काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी कहां से मिलेगी अगर एनर्जी ऑफ फोटॉन्स ज्यादा होगा सो दिस इज नॉट एनर्जी ऑफ फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस इज एनर्जी ऑफ फोटॉन्स सो मैक्सिमम kinetic energy is availed by maximum energy of photons all right now energy of energy of photons kaise calculate karenge energy of photons is e of photons is equal to total power divided by number of photons usse ek photon ke uh, ek photon ki energy pata chal jayegi so we need the maximum power with minimum number of photons so energy of photons or h nu will be maximum power maximum power kis mein hai 5 watt mein hai so 5 joule per second Or this is what divided by the minimum number of photons. That is four multiplied by ten raised to the power eighteen. Four multiplied by ten raised to the power eighteen. Second inverse. So here is the second inverse. Our second inverse can cancel out. Yeah, and we have five by four multiplied by ten raised to the power minus eighteen, which is e joules, which is equal to one point two five multiplied by ten raised to the power minus eighteen. Or 12.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. This is the energy per photon. Energy per photon or h nu. Now we know that work function is h nu naught is equal to 
4.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules and we found out that h nu is equal to 12.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules and we know kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus h nu naught so yahan se hum kinetic energy calculate kar sakte hain h nu minus h nu naught is 12.5 minus 4.5 12.5 minus 4.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. All right. So, its value will be 8 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. So, this is kinetic energy. And we have to find the wavelength. So, wavelength is equal to h by mv. We know this is the de Broglie wavelength. And mv kya hoga? We know kinetic energy is equal to half mv square half mv square so agar hum isme mass multiply and divide kare so this is 1 by 2 into m square v square divided by m so this is equal to 1 by 2 m mv whole square divided by m so agar hum mv ko Release kare. So mv square is equal to 2m multiplied by ke. Alright. So mv will be 2m kinetic energy is ka square root. So we can put it over here h by 2m ke square root. So this value will be 6.625 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule second divided by 2 into 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilograms multiplied by kinetic energy that is 8 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules joules all right is the square root so ye ho jayega 6.625 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule into second divided by this value hai, this is equal to 12.06 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 25 and the unit is joule second meter inverse all right so we can do the further calculation over here Lambda is equal to here the units cancel ho jayega, joule second and joule second. So we have 6.625 divided by 12.06. 6.625 divided by 12.06 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 divided by 10 raised to the power 25. That is 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter. So this is equal to 6.625 by 12.06 is equal to. 0 0.549 0 0.549 divided by 10 raised to the power minus minus 9 meters which is equal to 5.49 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 10 meters or we can convert it into angstroms so 5.49 angstroms all right because one angstrom is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 10 meter all right and we need value square root mein. so if we square it then this is almost equal to 30.17 30.17 square root angstroms so jo approximately correct value that is option number b root 30 angstrom this is the required answer and I hope you understood the concept well. Best of luck.